Hello little Commodores, we're ready for phonics today. If you remember earlier this week, we focused on our vowel powers for A and for I. So we're going to do that again today. And as we do it, we're going to be looking at a book by Mabel with the title, How to Care for Your Vowel Shield. Hmm. We've been talking about how-to books in writing, haven't we? And I know we've also been talking about mentor texts and how we can use what all the other authors do to help with our writing. Well, guess what, boys and girls? Mabel wrote a book. So not only can you use this in phonics, but you can also use it in your writing time. Okay? Now, your job today is going to be reading how to care for your vowel shield. We're going to do the first page together, and then you're going to look through and see how many words you can find with the A sound, which is the A, and the I sound, which is the I. Those are the two vowels we're focusing on. So how to care for your vowel shield by Mabel. And Mabel actually has an extra title page in her book. And we've talked a little bit about title pages in writing. Let's move on. We see there's a number one. And we see several snap words on this page. You're going to see my arrow under the word. That's me using my pointer power. I'm also going to use my snap word power because I know that these are snap words. I'm going to use my sound power. And guess what? We can even use what we've been learning in phonemic awareness with putting our words together to help us figure out what these words are. So, one, do, hmm, I don't see this as a snap word. So maybe I should say all the sounds in the word. N Ought, N ought, not, very good. Do not, see that's capital letters, so I think that's pretty important. S it, s it, oh, sit, on, hmm, I don't think this is a snap word we've learned yet either. We learned part of this word. We have learned and talked about you. But there's an R at the end. Hmm. R says R. Yo, your. Oh, hmm. I think it's your. And that's going to be a snap word we'll learn later. Remember, we talked a little bit about snap word endings as well. So I'm going to go back and start over because that's what a good reader does. Do not sit on your shield. That's not a word we've learned how to sound out yet. We can see that SH says sh because we have talked about that. But when we look at what Mabel has, she has a broken shield. Oh no. So she says do not sit on your shield. How many words do you see on here that have the I sound? That's right. This one right here, sit, has the I sound. So your task for the rest of the day today is going to be to take a look and finish reading our Mabel book. It's okay if you want to ask for some help at home. I just want you to try your best because I know there are some words in our book that are, aren't words that we've learned how to sound out yet or blend together is what I like to say. And that's okay. All right, we're using what we know. Yesterday, I had you working on magic words and we worked on the last six snap words we learned. I made a whole list of all the snap words we've learned so far. Well, guess what? I also made something. No, I didn't make something. I'm using something from our Lucy lessons that help us practice our snap words. This is read the word wall. So if you take a look here, I know it's a little bit small. You can make it bigger on your screen. It says, loud like a monster. Scary like a witch. Squeaky like a mouse. Whisper like a secret. And 
and then invent your own. So these are ways to read the snap word wall. So here's what you're going to do today, friends. You are going to pick one of these ways. Monster, witch, mouse, or whisper. And you're going to read your snap words on this slide. So if I was going to do that, I would use my pointer power and I would say, me is can got you. See, I, did, I chose whisper today. But use your pointer power and point to those words and practice them. My challenge is going to be for you to practice this list in different voices every single day. So if you want to print it out at home, you can. If not, just use it on your device and you can practice on there. Okay? I cannot wait to hear what kind of way you choose to read your snap words. And I can't wait to hear about how to care for your vowel shield. See you soon, friends.